everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm here with Madison, and we're going to share with you our outing that we had this morning. Now, most of you know that I've been wanting to get Madison's wig cut, and my hairdresser, I was going to have her do it, but she said because of the company that she works for, they would not allow her to cut her wig. So I went online and I was trying to find a company, a wig company in my area that I could go to with Madison and the wig and have it cut. But what happened is a beauty school um, showed up when I had, you know, typed in wig companies in my area. This beauty school happened to pop up and they had a thing on their website showing supplies and wigs that the students get to practice on with cutting hair before they actually cut a real person's hair. <laughs> so I went to that beauty school yesterday morning. I spoke to the person in charge. I explained to her the situation with Madison and I asked her, <clears throat> excuse me, if it was possible if one of the instructors could cut Madison's wig for me. And I pulled up my channel, my YouTube channel on her computer and I showed her uh, Madison in her wig, her new wig, and um, she said, yeah, she said, it looks like we'd be able to do something for you. So she got back to me. Well, by the time I got home, I had a voicemail from her, and then I called her back, and she said that she had two instructors in mind, but one of the instructors, uh, she said, cuts dolls, doll, she cuts doll wigs, <laughs> and she knew about reborn dolls and so forth. So I had an appointment this morning for 9.30. We got there about 9.15. And I have to tell you guys, it was the most fantastic and wonderful experience that I have ever had in regards to one of my reborn babies. Um, I walked in there and the receptionist, I guess because of the, the way I was holding Madison, like you would hold a real toddler on your hip, when I walked in there with her, and the receptionist saw her. It was so funny. She looked at her and then she like shook her head and blinked her eyes and looked again. And she said, oh my God. She said, is that Madison? She said, oh my word, she looks so real. And, um, and then of course we waited and the instructor came up and she was such a lovely person, very, very nice person. And she went ahead and uh, looked at Madison and, you know, said how gorgeous she was and everything. And so um, we got her hair cut. It took about 30 minutes to cut her hair. And, uh, and then before we left, um, you know, when you sit in those salon chairs, those hair salon chairs, they have like the foot rest on them. Well, I had to climb out of it. I can't just stand up straight like a normal person because of the spondyloarthritis in my spine. Um, I'm bent over. Uh, even here at home when I'm sitting down, when I go to stand up off the couch, I'm bent over and that's because of my spine and I have to push on the foot stew or push or grab the desk and push myself up you know, from the desk so I can stand up straight. So I knew there was no way I could stand up with Madison. So I asked the instructor if she could hold Madison for me while I get out of the chair. And she said, sure. And she held her. <laughs> she didn't want to give her back. She said, oh my gosh. She said, can I go show the other instructors and everyone else Madison? And I said, sure, go ahead. So she took her throughout the whole school and showed her to the other people. So it was so neat. So Madison got the VIP treatment this morning. And, and not only that, the instructor um, took pictures of Madison. And I told her, I said, you know, I said I had a camera, or I said I have a camera, and I was going to bring it so I could take pictures, but I wasn't sure if you guys would allow it. And the instructor and some of the other students were saying, oh, no, you could have brought your camera. You could have taken your pictures, <laughs> you know. So when I bring Madison's twin in to get her wig cut, um, because I told the instructor I'm in the middle of working on Madison's twin, and... Um, I said she's going to have the same exact type of wig 
Um, so I would like to bring her in and have her cut that wig. And she said, oh, of course. She said, yeah, bring her in. She said, I'll do her hair. So I'll know when I bring her in that I can bring my camera and take pictures <laughs> of Madison's twin getting her hair cut. But yeah, it was, oh my gosh, I'll tell you what. And this instructor, you know, she told me she cuts, uh, doll wigs, um, and, um, she knew about reborn dolls and everything else. And, uh, it was, it was very interesting to watch how she was cutting her hair because since I only wanted the bottom part of her hair cut and evened out and her bangs, um, she had clipped it up and was cutting it. I, I don't know. I guess you would say in sections according to the weaves. Um, so it was very interesting to, to see her do that. Of course, I was sitting in the chair holding Madison because I had to hold the wig on Madison's head, but it was very interesting to watch her and she did a beautiful job. She ended up cutting four inches off of Madison's wig. <laughs> and I told her I wanted her, her, um, bangs cut but I wanted them to come to the bottom of her eyebrows. I didn't want them cut above her eyebrows. And so she did that. And uh, I told her, that's it. I don't want it. Sh I don't want the wig shampooed or wet or anything else. I said, just, you know, air dry it, you know, air cut it, I guess you would say. So I'm going to turn Madison around so you can see how beautiful her hair looks. But this is the front of her. My big girl. She looks so gorgeous. There she is with her bangs, and she looks so beautiful. Now let me turn her around so you can see the back of her hair. There we go. And there she is. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This um, instructor did such a beautiful job on her. Her hair was down to here. That's how long the wig was. It was down to her behind. <laughs> So that's how much, that's how much she cut off of the wig. And it looks so beautiful now. It looks nice and even, and it's so nice and smooth. Even the instructor said her hair is just so nice and smooth for a synthetic wig. Um, and she told me, she said, you know, you can't use a curling iron or heat the hair or anything. And I said, yeah, I said, I know that. She said, oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, she was, she was so nice. And um, she's so excited. She can't wait until I bring Madison's twin in. But yeah, everybody just loved her. The students, because when I got there, they went ahead. And what they did is they made the appointment um, a demonstration um, class for the students. So that they could see how to cut a wig. And so Madison got to participate in a demonstration class. So that was really cool. I thought that was really, really nice. Oh, her hair looks so beautiful now. Oh, so now what I wanna do is try to find somebody that could glue the wig on her head for me because I was going to try to do it, but when I watched some tutorials, um, one of them that I watched was from um, Bean. Uh, from I can't I don't I don't remember her channel. Bean, who makes the um, uh, what do you call those babies? The alternative babies, fantasy babies. Anyway, she had a tutorial on how to apply a wig to a doll. And, or was it somebody else? No, I thought it was her. And there was one other, one other artist that I watched the tutorial on, on how to apply a wig to a doll's head, a reborn doll's head. But anyway, um, in both of them, it said you had to apply the glue a certain way, and then you have to stretch the wig from the back to the front on the head with the glue. Then you gotta put something over the head like a stocking to keep the wig tight to the head. And then you have to let that dry overnight and then you have to do 
side to side with stretching the wig on the head to glue it and then putting the stocking back on and then let that sit overnight to dry and I'm like I, I can't do that <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't know how to do that so now I've got to find someone that can glue the wig on for me I don't want E600 glue used on her I want the regular clear tacky glue used on her and you know on the wig and so um, I have to find someone that can do that for me but yeah it was <clears throat> excuse me it was a wonderful experience we had an awesome time this morning it's something that I will remember for a very long time and the one thing that I noticed about the beauty school their lighting oh my gosh when we walked in there you could just see the beautiful blushing on Madison's face I'm, and her hands and everything and my lighting isn't great at all you can't see it and the camera doesn't pick up the blushing and you know it's really upsetting to me because she looks so beautiful and it just won't pick up her blushing but yeah we we just had oh my gosh we had a beautiful time and I wanted to come on and um, just share her with you guys oh yes one other thing I want to show you I got her vintage Carter's sleeper so let me show you that I got it yesterday in the mail and it's so cute I got it from a seller on eBay look at this it's a cow print vintage Carter sleeper and it's footless it's um, like a cream color and it has the brown spots on it you know a brown cow pattern I, is the best way to put it and it's um, their little cutie line very very sweet very sweet and I could not believe that I found this on eBay and the seller only charged me five dollars and fifty cents and it was free shipping and when she shipped it to me she folded it up very nicely put it in a ziploc bag and sealed up the bag and then put that in a bubbled envelope for me and that was just so nice of her to do that and uh, yeah so now we have three of these um, well two of these vintage sleepers for Madison and her twin sister the other sleeper that she has it's not a vintage sleeper by Carter's it's a Lamaze sleeper but it's big it's big I, I love it so yeah so oh my gosh I am just so thrilled right now <laughs> I am just so tickled pink with how Madison came out she looks absolutely gorgeous well everyone thank you so much for watching this video and I'm sorry that the the video is this way <laughs> instead of this way like I said she's a big toddler and I can't get her in the full frame so I have to turn my camera I guess sideways so I can get her in the frame so you guys can see her thank you so much for watching this video and I just had to share our outing with you and the experience it was for us um, it, it was absolutely wonderful. Everyone, take care. Bye for now.